What's going on guys, Dragscope Designs here and this is our part 2 video of how to make a YouTube background. So uh, if you haven't already, check out the first video because you might probably thinking like, how do I do this? So um, basically I just changed the opacity on the background here so we're just going to keep going. I'm going to click control T and make this a bit bigger. Alright, so let's go ahead and just duplicate these layers. Click Control T, drag them around to about 180 here. One eighty. Drag them on there right there. It's okay. So basically now you wanna go ahead and edit this. So go to the gradient layer and set it to zero degrees. Where are you? Dang it. Can never get it. Alright, so once you got that zero degrees, now it's going that way. The drop shadow is about the same. So now let's go ahead and get our eraser tool now because now we need to fix this. Let's go ahead and bring these down. Alright guys, so basically that's all you really need to do. Um, now once you finish with all this stuff, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and go down here and go to curves. Press OK. Let's just drag this down, make it a bit darker. A more two scale kind of image. Bring it up. Let's go ahead and add another curve. And uh, this one's going to be for our reds. I'm going to drag it up a bit. Out, down. Right there. Okay. And I'm going to need to go to vibrance now. And change this down a bit. So now we have a pretty good black and white image. So what I'm going to do now is basically go to my sections, unlock this. Go to my template and I'm going to go to color overlay. I'm not going to go to color overlay and I'm just going to click control T or not control T, control delete. If that would work, which it's not, I am being stupid. Let's just actually let's just go ahead and hide this layer. There we go and uh, close that down. Let's go back into background real quick delete this okay now let's go under here and delete this alright so basically now you have your YouTube template you want to keep the fade be because when you scroll down on your YouTube channel it eventually the background will end so what we're going to do here is go to save for web because this is how you get your full HD image. Wait for it to load up here and wait for your image to pop up. You want to keep this right here under eight, you want to keep this under um, one megabyte. So I'm good right now. It's 848.5K. That's under it. You guys can play around with these, but PNG 24 is the highest quality image you can get. WBMP makes it look weird. Look, it uh, looks weird, but it does bring down down the size. GIF, uh, I don't know why would you want that. It's not animated. Uh, JPEG, it's the same. It'll bring the quality down, but you know, the size. Change it to maximum, I guess. But PNG 24 is the absolute best. Just go ahead and click save. Save it to your desktop. Go ahead and go into YouTube. Open. There we go. Oop. So go ahead and go into YouTube. 
you want to go into uh, your profile and go to my settings or my channel settings. Oh, I got a message. Um, go to my channel, channel settings. Go ahead, uh, remove your background and uh, choose file. Go ahead and add in your new f image and set this to black since the fade is black. So let's just see how this looks now. Okay, so it loads up. If you do have it over one megabyte, then it will not load. So it looks pretty good. You got the drag here, drag there. So yeah, guys, that's basically how to make a YouTube background. Uh, I should be uploading some speed art soon, and uh, I should be doing some more work on here. Sorry, I've been inactive for a little bit. I've been uh, kind of busy with stuff. So uh, if this helped you, uh, if this helped you out, you know, please don't forget to uh, subscribe for more. Uh, like this video and uh, comment if you guys have any questions uh, if you guys need any YouTube backgrounds to be made message me and I'll try to get on it but I can't because I'm a little busy within like school and stuff like that so message me and I'll try to get back to you if I don't I'm sorry but I seriously will try thanks for watching you guys I hope you enjoyed